everyone. So I'm on placement and the results are out for ACP dissertation, not dissertation called ACP that I've been banging on about for months and months, all year in fact. And as you can see by my smile, I've passed. I've passed. I've just said I need to go to the toilet and just have a little moment. I've passed. Not just passed, I've got 75% guys. I've passed dissertation after all the stress, all the worry, all the emotions about this blooming dissertation and I've passed. I'm so relieved, so, so relieved. But I just wanted to share this moment with you all because I'm chuffed. I'm so chuffed. I'm gonna sleep really well tonight and that's it. I'm gonna be a real nurse, guys. Hi everybody, so it is Tuesday and I'm on my way to placement, day after dissertation results. I was going to vlog last night when I got home, but I sat down and I thought, what did I even do today? Because in my head I had a party all day <laughs> because I'd passed. As you can see, I'm still absolutely buzzing. 75% guys, 75%. In my last video, um, when I was talking about dissertation and I was working out my percentages and stuff and I think I said I needed 77% to get a first and I was there like there's no way I'm going to get anywhere near that I, I would have just scraped a pass in my head I thought I would have just scraped 40% 75% guys 2% away from a first oh that is a wound <laughs> but you know what I've passed I got 75% I'm so happy um, I feel really sorry for my patients because I'm going to be that really annoying over happy person for the next two weeks. <laughs> so I'm back home from a day of placement and did I mention a past dissertation? No, I don't think I mentioned it this week. So um, <laughs> probably didn't there. <laughs> oh, you're going to be so bored of me saying this, but a past dissertation, I know. So anyway, back to what's actually happening on placement right now. As you know, this is my second to last week. L next Friday, although when you watch this on Sunday, it's going to be this Friday is my final shift, my final management placement for my final day where I'm going to get signed off to become a registered nurse. But do you know what? Everything I do now, I'm panicking and I'm double checking and I'm triple checking and I'm thinking anything could go wrong in this next week or 10 days, however long I've got left now. And I'm just panicking and I'm just thinking, oh, I've got to be so careful because if something happens and I don't get my pain, I'm going to be destroyed. And I'm just, I'm on edge. And I don't know if everybody feels like this, but I am on edge and I'm, so, I'm being so cautious. And people are saying things and I'm like, oh my God, was that me? Oh my God, it's the student, it was me, I'm going to fail. But it's not, it's, it's not. I'm just being really overcautious, really oversensitive, on edge. Today, I'm going to discuss something actually that happened today that put me on edge even more. I, I've i worked in healthcare, as you know, for 10 years, just over 10 years now, 11 years maybe now. And not once, not once have I had a needle stick injury. You guessed it, today was the day. 10 years I've avoided this and today I got a needle stick injury. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know why I'm showing you it, but it's there. Knowing the patient and the past medical history and stuff, she, as far as I'm aware, she hasn't got any sort of infections or anything that could be passed on to me. So I'm not really worried. But, you know, they were like, oh, policy and procedure says you should go to A&E. And I was like, I'm not going to a &E. I'm not going to a &E to wait for four and a half hours. And I know that's really bad of me. I'm a very bad patient, very bad student nurse by saying that. And I rang occupational health instead. And um, I booked into my own occupational health at university. So I'm booked in tomorrow to get some bloods and whatever they do. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never looked into it because I've always been so careful. So I'm mortified. I'm absolutely mortified that this has happened. And it was just, it was just a mistake. Um, I was clearing up some rubbish and there was a needle in there. And as I swooped it up, it caught my finger and I was like, oh no. I knew the guidelines for bleeding out needle stick injuries because I, I followed that. I know those sort of guidelines to follow. So I was literally there squeezing it, squeezing it under the hot tap, squeezing it, pouring all the blood out, scrubbing it with the um, soap, which stung. And which even stung more was the alcohol gel that I then scrubbed onto it because I was that paranoid. I was like, Ugh. even though I know that there's probably no risk, but it did make me a little bit paranoid, a little bit 
initially because so they're bleeding it out squeezing it out washing it washing it again alcohol gel <sighs> won't be doing that again will i I'm like oh my god am i gonna fail for having a needle stick injury like no I'm, I'm not gonna fail for a needle stick injury it was just an accident and accidents happen so please guys when you're out there please be careful of what you're picking up in rubbish and things yeah apart from that that's all i've really had that's been exciting today so yeah so we'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm with another nurse tomorrow and then I've got my occupational health. So yeah, see you tomorrow guys. So today is Wednesday. I've wrapped myself up in my blanket because it's absolutely freezing. We're like, what happened to the temperatures? <laughs> Suddenly it's like, boom, winter is here. Anyway, so I wanted to tell you all about my day today. Today has been a really interesting day, kind of. So um, we've got a lot of patients who are palliative end of life on our lists in the community. We have to like set up syringe drivers, manage um, the pain, the sickness, all of these different things, anxieties, agitation that they might get. There's quite a lot of things that you have to sort of think of with these palliative patients. But one of our patients has got this, I've spoke about it before, like a really cancerous fungating wound. And I haven't dealt with any of this before. So this is all new to me. It's amazing for my learning. But I can't help, but oh, I'm just like, oh, I just don't know what to do. It's just like, I feel like I want to do more for this patient. This patient got a lot of odour with it, really strong. And I said yesterday, I said, a tip that we learned at uni in one of our cancer lectures was to mask sort of smells is to use essential oils and I've got a really good strong lavender oil I said do you like lavender do you mind the smell of lavender because it's quite strong um, and some people don't like that and she said yeah I do like the, the smell of that I said I've got loads of little bottles at home I said I'm going to bring you one in try that we'll put some on your clothing and that should just mask the smell how about that and she was like yeah let's try that so she was really grateful so today I took the essential oil in put it on her clothes and it just made such a difference to her she was really 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 grateful and hopefully I'm praying that we're going to have her tomorrow again because I want to see how she found it so this was just a massive massive help to her and it was just amazing that I could actually put something in place from university again and use that knowledge to help her out it just made my day but this wound it's, oh, it's bleeding a lot it's I've never seen anything like it um we're trying to mop it up we've got all this gauze we've got all these different things so yeah and it was just it it was just sad to see. I was thinking this poor lady has got this horrific wound. It's bleeding out. It, it must make you anxious. Um, and she does have things in place to calm her down if she does get to that point where she's anxious about it. Luckily, we didn't have to use that today. But it's just so sad to see. And then we had another patient, again, end of life, palliative patient. It's just horrible to think that people go through this and suffer. Here we go. Emotions are coming again. Stop. Take a minute. It's just... Oh, it's just really horrible to think that people go through that. That people have to put up with that. It's horrible. This is what I do, guys. I, at the time, I'm dealing with things like this that I haven't seen before, I haven't dealt before, and they shock me. I stay really composed at the time. I keep it all in. I don't know how I do it. But something in my mind clicks and I switch to autopilot and I, I focus on the patient, what I'm dealing with, what I'm doing, all of that. And then I come home, I sit and I reflect and that's when it all comes out. Everything is going to come out tonight. Um, but it's just, it's just really hard to um, think that someone's dealing with that and someone has to go through that. And yeah, okay, as nurses, we can manage it the best we can. We can put on the dresses, we can give reinsurance, we can give them medications, anxiety medications, pain relief, anti-sickness. We do all of that. We do the best that we can. But it's not nice, guys. It's not nice for someone to have to go through that. It's not nice for your patient to go through that. It must be terrifying for them, for the family. Um, And I think... The Macmillan nurses and everything, they do come round and they do go into detail about what's going to happen. They go through all of the things that can happen towards the end. So they are well prepared. The medications, everything is set, set in place. 
I can't, um, I'm making it sound really awful. I'm so sorry if I've put you off nursing completely by saying this, but as nurses, you do everything you can. You've made the patient comfortable. I've gone out there. I've gone away from both of these patients knowing that I've done a good job and I've left them comfortable. But it's me, it's because I just, I overthink and I've got too much empathy. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I've got too much empathy for my patients. I literally put myself in the patient's place and I can't, and just, I know if it was me, it would terrify me and how the patient feels is awful. I, had, I did have a little joke and a laugh with one of the patients and I said, what are we gonna do with you doing this? <laughs> and they're like, to be honest, I'd rather be gone. I was just like, oh. And it's horrible. It's so hard. It is, it's something new that I've seen today and it was really hard. It was quite a difficult day, guys. I did have to go to occupational therapy, as I said yesterday, to have, I had my bloods done. Here we go. I've had my bloods done. I've had a hepatitis B injection, booster injection, just in case. But yeah, I've got to have a follow up in six weeks, 12 weeks and 24 weeks just for any of you out there that have had a needle stick injury just now this second and wondering what's going on. Coincidentally, I'm talking about it. There you go. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, you just fill out a form, instant report it, day text it, go for your bloods, go for your boosters, all of that jazz. And that's it. That's all I've done. So I'm going to stop talking now because I've been going on for ooh, eight and a half minutes now. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to cut that out, cut it down as much as I can. I'm uh, probably not going to be able to. So I tell you what, tomorrow's Thursday and Friday. So if there's anything new that I do over Thursday and Friday, I will vlog it. If there's nothing new and I'm just going to be repeating myself, I'm not going to vlog it and I'm going to end the video here. So if I do end the video here, I just want to say a massive well done and well done to all of the students out there. I know you've all started, some of you have started your very first placement this week. I've been following you on your Twitter and Instagram. If I haven't liked it, if I haven't commented, I'm really, really sorry. I've either been caught busy or I've just completely missed the post because things get lost in new news feeds. Also, if you're following me and I haven't followed you back, give me a nudge, <laughs> inbox me or something, because that's not fair. I want to be following your journey. You're following mine. I want to follow yours. I get really excited. So yeah, so a massive well done. Good luck to you for your placements. Good luck if you've got exams coming up, any presentations, any assignments, whatever you've got doing. Well done. Good luck. You're doing absolutely amazing and keep it up.